is Dr. Christy Ennis. Today we are working on the floor and the core. There's your little rhyme for the day. No more rhymes now, I mean it. Anybody want a peanut? Ah! All right, we're all lying, we're all, all of us, are going to lie down either on a mat, if that's uncomfortable, totally you can do all of these exercises on the bed and they, like I said, are all lying down, so let's get started. Okay, before we get started with the whole workout, we wanna make sure we've got the basics down. So step one is actually breathing. You, when you breathe in, you wanna think about kind of filling that belly up. So it's breathe in and breathe out. Step two, breathe in, starting off, breathe out, and then you wanna think about drawing in those pelvic floor muscles, right? That's that Kegel. So it's just that little pull in and pull up. And then lastly, you wanna think about gently pulling that belly button in. As you can see, it's all pretty subtle movement here. It's not a here or here or squeeze everything else. It takes some getting used to. So do your best to try to contract those things. But if all else fails, Please remember, just breathe. <laughs> and then all of these other exercises will target those muscles anyways. But it is always good to try to isolate a little bit when you can, just to give them a little extra oomph to it. But don't worry if you don't get it right away. All right, so starting out, like I said, first actually find that comfortable position for your back. And that's about where mine is. Breathe in, breathe out, engage through those deeper core muscles making sure you hold that and that's important to hold this kind of pelvic position even if you can't hold the kegel we're going to add some movement to it so here we go we're going to actually start with just a little bit of a bent knee fallout and i'm going to get 10 on each side here what you want to make sure of is that this opposite hip isn't popping up so that's two three four these are gentle but boy will you feel these by the end five six Seven, eight, nine. Let that leg fall out as much as you can without losing that contraction. And 10 and then to the other side. There's one, two, three, four. And again, make sure you give these other muscles a little break if you need it, it's okay. Just keep everything centered. The only thing moving is that leg. That's eight, I think, nine, and ten. These all get a little progressively harder as we go here. From here, again, keeping that pelvic position without moving, we're going to lift one knee and the other. And sometimes I'll put my hands right above my hip bones and in just a touch to make sure that everything is staying steady. Four. We're going to do 20 total. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. Ten, nine, eight. So really working on helping to support that spine a little bit and the bladder and all those other organs too. All of that stuff is important using these deep muscles. Almost there. Again, one more on each side because I kind of tilted a little bit there. Again, what not to do, right? All right, from here, we're gonna add on to that a little bit. I'm gonna bring that knee up and then I'm gonna straighten that leg down and out and back. Up, straight, out and back. So you might feel things have to, excuse me, strain just a touch more. Or not strain, maybe that's not the right word. Work <laughs> a touch more in order to keep things stabilized there. Good. And again, of course, breathing, trying to relax the neck and the upper body too. Sometimes that is challenging. Good, out. We're gonna do a few less of these today. There, up, out. One more on each side here. Awesome, okay, moving on. I'm actually gonna take this left leg, straighten it all the way out. So now you really wanna make sure, right, that you straighten that, you don't arch that back anymore. We're gonna come up and then out to the side, back to the middle, 
and down. So nice and slow and controlled so that you can really focus in on that middle. That's two. Three. Four. Trying to keep this opposite leg steady too. Five, and I'm gonna switch just five on each side for these. So straighten that right leg out, lifting, and then out to the side and back and down. That's one, two, three, four, and don't forget too, if you wanna see other videos of me that you won't see anywhere else, check out my locals page at six, Seven, you can point those toes if you want to, but you don't have to. Eight. Nine, and I can feel all of this deep stuff really starting to kick in on me now. And I did way more on that side than this side, so we're gonna do five more on this other side. I just got so excited about this exercise, I just had to do more. So there's two, three, four, and one more so that we're even. Five, good. I am gonna stay on this left leg. We're gonna straighten it out again. Starting position is actually with that leg up. You are going to open up to the side as far as you can without shifting, tilting, and then it's gonna come down and around. So it might be a very small circle to start, and that's okay, and if you need to, you certainly could keep that leg bent if that's a little more comfortable for the hip, okay? I'm gonna count that as one. Let's do five, really, truly, five on each side. That's two, three, four, and five, and switching. Leg up, open. So you'll notice that a lot of these are based in Pilates, which really does work that lower core a lot. Three, four, my favorite exercise, actually, and Five, good. Okay, moving on. If that was challenging to keep that position, maybe bypass these next two, just so you're aware, because our legs are now gonna go up. So make sure everything's nice and dialed in there. One leg and the other leg, make sure you're not pushing out. If so, go back to just the regular march. From here, we're gonna take and we're gonna tap towards the ground with one leg from the hip and then that other side. So notice I don't go all the way down because if I did, whoop, that's what would happen to me. So you go with your position. Okay, that's four, five, six. I'm even tightening my jaw. <sighs> Gotta rebreathe. Seven, eight, just 10, nine, and 10. But we're gonna hold this position. From here, this is a little trickier than when we had our feet on the ground. You're gonna bring one leg out and back to the middle and then the other leg out and back to the middle again 10 total here so trying to keep those hips steady that pelvis steady Ooh. one side might be harder than another you never know six usually is with me seven eight nine and one more and okay, arms are gonna go up. This is traditionally called a dead bug. I had a patient rename this the struggling turtle because it makes a lot more sense because it's moving. So opposite leg and opposite arm. So one straightens and then comes down. Again, this is another one you can do and just keep those feet on the ground just kind of like that march was too. Three, and I'm only extending my legs as far down as I can without moving that spine, hopefully. Four, again, just 10 total, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. With control, make sure that you bring those legs back down. Don't just let them thump, right? We still always want to think about that core. For the next set of exercises, you need a squishy ball or a pillow, and magically a ball appears out of thin air for me. Thank you to my cinematographer, that's for sure. So ball or pillow is gonna go in between the knees, a little bit above. This one takes a little bit of creative visualization to start, okay? So the squeezing part's pretty easy. You are gonna squeeze into that ball. As you do that, you wanna think that you're trying to press those feet 
out and you can almost see my feet pressing a little bit, right? Press those feet out at the same time so we can get to some of those deep hip rotator muscles that don't get used very often but are important. So I'm gonna start now to count. There's one, two, you'll probably feel that more inner thigh a little bit, three, four, I know it doesn't look like I'm doing much but trust me on this one, you'll feel it, five, Six, I almost held my breath. Seven, eight, nine, one more is 10. Good, okay, keep that ball right where it is. We're gonna go right into a bridge pose. So you wanna think about squeeze into that ball, keep that position set, and then we're lifting that butt up. You can even add a little extra squeeze at the top there. With control, come back down and repeat. And that's two three, at 10, we're gonna keep our buns up there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine. Remember at 10, we're keeping our butts up. Okay, from here, keep that ball squeezed. You really need to focus on that. And then you're adding just a tiny little march, trying as you do this to make sure that your hips are staying level two and not dropping down. If this one is too much, just go ahead and hold this while I'm lifting. It's four, five, just 10 total here. Six, seven, lots of things working here, all in the middle, eight, nine, and 10. And I'm gonna magically roll my ball, hopefully, out of the way, poof, gone. We've got two more exercises to do, actually on the hands and knees. So stack those shoulders over those wrists. Again, keeping that tummy pulled in if you can and that back in a relatively flat position. We're kind of reversing that dead bug. We're going alternate leg and arm and even a little crunch in the middle. So left leg, right arm, and then elbow and knee meet towards one another. So that's one, if I almost fall forward, two, three, Four, just five, and then we're gonna actually make it a little harder, okay? So still pull in. Now as you come out, bring that arm and leg out to the side and back in. Just five more on this side to go, or four more, really. Okay, two, really everything working pretty hard here to stabilize you. Three, four, last one on this side. Five, and switch. You can hang on to weights here too if you need to to give your wrists a little bit of a break. Reset my position. Opposite arm, opposite leg. And add that little crunch for one, two, three, four, five. Remember, we're gonna add that little piece to it this time. So crunch in, extend out arm and leg without the other part of the body moving. That's one, two. My leg might be dropping just a touch there. Three, four, and five. Holy moly, you made it through, well done. 